The news is in. Marcus Davenport is a bust. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the One Bar Lupagus. I am One Bar with Lupagus on this joyous Friday, but you know, our topic isn't overly uplifting, but we got to talk about it. Marcus Davenport. We all know it. Big old bust. Big old free agent bust. I might as well call him Lupagus with a bust that big. Uh, yeah, before we talk about Marcus Davenport, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that button, and it'll make you feel like a, not a bust, like a winner. Like a winner, uh, maybe. We'll see. But, yes, we appreciate every damn sub. Hit that sub. Hit that notification uh, bell. Let's do it. Marcus Davenport. So, even when we signed him, 26 mm -hmm. years old, coming off, you know, uh, uh, up and down, uh, all the potential in the world with the Saints, just never lived up to it, we, we were both fairly excited. Maybe not at the price. Oh, absolutely. We were excited. Marcus Davenport, this is a guy we wanted when he came back out in the draft many years ago. Just a beast of a human. I think you were all over him very early, mm -hmm. uh, one of your uh, crushes early in that draft. But yeah, I mean, a guy who's just got loads and loads of potential, just never been able to put together a full, healthy season. That was always the risk. That was always the worry. Like, can this guy stay healthy? And this was always going to be a high risk, high reward kind of signing for Quasi. No, absolutely. And uh Quasi looks like a fool now. He does. You have to you have to you have to say it, but like even when right after we signed him, we brought our good pal Andrew Jujon from the Saints Happy Hour podcast. And even he said he like the dude's a monster, he's an athletic freak. And I quote, he said, I just don't know if he likes to play football. <laughs> Well, and that's the other thing. So before we talk about that, let's just say the fact that when he was on the field, he was damn good. Like there was that two Carolina game. He was a beast. He was a monster. He made this the second level better, first level better. The second it was all. I mean, everything was better when Davenport was in there. But then he start, you know, even before that, like he was hurt and he, his, his interviews, like he wasn't really saying like, yeah, I'm working, doing everything I can to get back on the field. He was kind of like talking about some weird random shit. Uh, you question his desire to get back on the field. And that actually came out. I know some people have kind of, come out and, and and made articles and quotes and stuff against that but there was a lot of sense that he just didn't want to wasn't in a hurry to get back on the field well the 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 alarming moment was week one all of a sudden he was inactive he had an injury We're like oh shit it's happening it's happening it's true and then you're right he got out there three i think it was three games in a row or so philly was out there just for a couple snaps and then he was out there and he was he was really good two sacks mm -hmm. pressures whooping a little ass him and daniel hunter out there just absolutely kicking ass and you know, we can say the what if, if he was healthy the whole season, would he have had a good year? You're damn right he would have. But that big what if, what if has been his issue all along. And the fact is, he did not have a good year because he didn't play. Because he didn't play. It was a gamble. It was a gamble Quasi made. It didn't pay off. He failed. Uh, and again, you know, you roll the dice. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. And this one is definitely a loss. What are you, Kenny Rogers? I'm the gambler. I am the gambler. Here, here's I, so so ten million. I believe like what he, he he could have been up to thirteen with incentives and stuff. I think he's getting paid like ten and change. Uh, 118 snaps. We got 118 snaps. We paid him eighty four thousand dollars a snap. Thank you, math. thank you, Marcus. <laughs> uh, eighty four thousand dollars a snap. Uh, sack. Uh, the sacks were five million a piece. And uh, and thank you for that. But the, he he gets the ankle injury. He has yeah. surgery. And here's the worst part is Doogie comes out last week or whatever saying he's been out of the walking boot for two weeks like any other player would have been out there. Like yep. it's just a lot of confusion of why he's not out there. Not even they didn't even put him in the 21 day window. You know, he never even saw a window. Uh, so it, it, again, the wonder about his passion, his desire. Most guys are saying the right thing in their interviews. You know, I can't wait to get back out there. You know, it was just it wasn't that with Marcus Davenport. So. Uh, no way in hell Vikings bring him back for another round. I even had a discounted price. Curious to see what his free agent market is. Because, I mean, this guy talking about a, a one-year prove-it deal. Uh, this is what all he can hope for at this point. He just signed a one-year prove-it deal. Well, even like a less. Like, he's I mean, like this is, a one-year minimum yeah, it, deal. It's it's down to the bare bones here. He has and, one, you know basically what? one shot. Davenport has made himself some money. And you know what? Maybe football isn't his passion. You know, good for him. Go do your thing. But... Man, that, this was just so disappointing because when he was on the field, he did very good. And it was funny because when I was doing this, I wanted to see where he stacks up amongst all-time Vikings free agent busts. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, he might he might be the he might be the cherry. He might be the just, cherry on top. 
just for what they paid out and everything. I mean, I know there's been busts, but they've been, you know, had longer oh, yeah. contracts. I mean, there's been more busts, than... but I mean, he's up there with the John Carlson's, the Bernard Berrians, the Fred Smoots. Mm -hmm. uh, he's up there right with them. I mean, Greg Jennings, I could go on and on. Some of these names I was looking at were bringing back horrific memories. Uh, but Marcus Davenport will go down based off of what he was paid and what we got in return is, is easily a top three. Yeah, but like I used to sing about, you got no one to hold them, no one to fold them. This is a hand you got to fold. We're going to fold them, and uh, it's too bad because our edge rushers next year are going to be depleted, and he could have been a guy that, like, hell yeah, let's re-sign him, and it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, and hopefully we can get Dino Hunter back. Otherwise, uh, Patrick Jones and Andre Carter. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let us know what you think. Marcus Davenport, free agent bust. How big, how high is he on your all-time Vikings bust scale? Boop, 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 let us know. And remember this, the term happily ever after was originally used as happily until they died. That's horrifying.